Four children fed up with their parents driving. They were knocked in and smashed it up. Four parents who have slipped into bad habits. Oh, there, 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 you wouldn't have it. Over the last nine days, they have been put to the test on every element of road safety, all under the watchful eye of our examiner soldier. That was typical, Andy. The passed some challenges. <laughs> yeah! The failed some challenges. Can you believe it? But today, it's all or nothing as they face the ultimate driving test. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there goes two melons. Today is the day... Oh, we to get past now. ...our team will pass or foul the driving academy. I'm Joe Swash and this is Driving Academy. Today is Judgment Day. Nine days ago, four kids brought their four parents through these gates for the very first time. And since then, we've put their parents through an intense period of driving training. We want to cure their bad habits and bad behaviour behind the wheel. Today is the big one, a chance for our teams to graduate the Driving Academy. I'm nervous and I'm not even driving. Today our team are going to face two super tough tests that they must pass. The Highway Quiz Showdown will test how much they have learned in the last nine days. Please reveal your answers. You all got it wrong. Foul this and they will not be allowed to take the ultimate driving test. I'm tired. I hate this. The teams must score a minimum of five out of ten on each test to graduate from the academy. So, teams, let's reveal who's getting what. Our parents have shown signs of being better drivers, but will their bad habits come back to haunt them? It's important that my dad passes the ultimate driving test so that he can prove to himself that he, he can do it and that he can be a safe road user. I feel quite worried about what we're going to do in the ultimate driving test. I don't know what they're going to throw at us. To be honest, if we failed the ultimate driving test, it would be horrible. It's something we've been training to do at Driving Academy. It's we've been practising ever so hard. Over the last nine days, our kids have been learning to drive on the Academy's private roads with instructor Vicky Lovell in a specially designed dual-controlled car so that they can pass on some safe driving tips to their parents. When Manisha brought Dad Cliff to the academy, she was worried about his speeding. I don't think he should speed and go over the speed limit, so that's why I'm taking him to driving academy. But on day one, it was Manisha's reckless driving that nearly ran over a crash test dummy. Oh, I had to put the brakes on me. <laughs> Instructor Vicky used her dual controls to brake and save the day. Dad Cliff wasn't any better on day three's emergency stopping. Oh, and by day eight, steering had become a problem on the skid challenge. Car control will be the key for the Purples later. When John arrived with Mum Michelle, she was a really nervous driver. We started off having one bump, and then she had another bump all in the same month, and now she's awful. Then on day six's car control challenge, something clicked. Oh, that wasn't too bad. You got over this ramp of doom so well. It looked like there was no fear at all. But she's still showing an alarming lack of awareness of hazards. It's not a hazard. Not a hazard. No problem. No, I don't think okay. so. The Blues will have to overcome their poor road safety knowledge if they're going to pass the driving academy. Nine days ago, Molly was worried about Dad Andy's driving. When you're in the car, my dad, you feel very nervous, like you're going to die, because he's very dangerous and he doesn't know how to drive. On day one, the Orange team weren't safe or happy drivers. But we're going too fast, Dad. I don't like it. Oh, we've hit one now, you. Not driving! But on day two, Andy showed us what he's capable of, if he and Molly get their attitude sorted. But which Orange team will turn up today? <laughs> Finally, Sarah. Where do we start? She does all her makeup when she's driving. She's like this, she's got her knees up, she's going. <laughs> Done. Early on, Sarah brought her terrible driving habits to the academy. Rescue this. Driving whilst not even looking. No. No. Knocking into everything in her path. <laughs> Sarah's irresponsible driving seemed to have rubbed off on Reese. Hopefully, the Driving Academy has worked wonders, and if the green team concentrate today, they may just stand a chance. We've completed all the training. Later on, the teams will have to succeed in the ultimate driving test. But first, I'll need to pass this, the big one, the Highway Quiz Showdown. 
OK, teams, we're about to face the Highway Quiz Showdown. The stakes are higher. You pass, and you're one step closer to a medal. Foul, and you will not take part in the ultimate driving test. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You need to get five out of 10 correct to pass. Parents, it's your question first. Please draw the road sign for cues likely ahead. Please draw me the road sign for cues likely ahead. OK, parents, this is what it should have looked like. OK. Michelle, unfortunately, that's incorrect. Cliff, spot on. It's correct. Sarah, unfortunately, you've done the same as Michelle. You've drawn four cards when it should have been three. Andy, well done. It's correct. Question number two is for the kids. When should you never cross a level crossing? That's when a train track crosses the road. When the lights on the crossing, A, flash red, B, stay red, or C, flash red and amber. Could you reveal your answers, please? The correct answer is A, flash red. Unfortunately, Jono, yours is incorrect. The rest of you, well done. Which of these signs is the correct sign for no pedestrians? Is it A, B, or C? I can tell you that the correct answer is A. Well done, Michelle. Yours is correct. Cliff? Correct. Unfortunately, Cheryl, yours is incorrect. Andy, well done. Yours is correct, too. When there is no pavement, where should you walk? A, on the right-hand side, facing the oncoming traffic. B, on the left-hand side, with your back to the oncoming traffic. Or C, in the middle of the road. Please reveal your answers. Teams, the correct answer is A. Yes. Well done. Jono, unfortunately, yours was incorrect. Manisha, yours too was incorrect. Reese, well done. Molly, yours was correct too. What does a double yellow line painted on the road mean? A, no stopping at any time. B, no waiting at any time. Or C, no parking until after 6 p.m. Could you reveal your answers, please? can tell you that the correct answer is B. Michelle, Cliff, Sarah and Andy, you all got it wrong. It's the halfway stage and the oranges are just one point away from the five that they need to pass. But the blues are a long way off with just one single point. Question number six is only for the kids. So, guys, would you like to follow me? If the teams fail the highway showdown, they'll fail the driving academy. Jono needs to get four of the five remaining questions correct to pass. The lorry behind you, there are a collection of red marks on the floor. I want you to place your bikes on the red mark that you think is the lorry's blind spot, OK? Off you go. The blind spot is the part of the road that cannot be seen by the driver, even when using all of their mirrors. OK, guys. In fact, I can tell you that you're all correct. Every single one of these red marks on the floor is a blind spot. The only safe place to be is... This is a safe spot. Now, remember, if you can't see the driver, the driver can't see you. Right, guys, if you'd like to join... So, the, the oranges have reached the five-pass mark. Question number seven is for the adults. What is the minimum acceptable tyre tread on a car? Is it A, 1.6 millimetres? Is it B, 16 millimetres? Or is it C, 160 millimetres? The tread is the groove on the tyre that helps it grip to the wet roads. Would you like to reveal your answers, please? I can tell you that the correct answer was A. Michelle, very well done. You too, Cliff. Unfortunately, Sarah and Andy, you both went for B. That was incorrect. Five points and a pass for the purples. Blues and greens still need two points from the last three questions. Question number eight is for the kids. When cycling at night, you must have A, the white light at the front and a red reflector at the back. B, a white light at the front and a red light at the back. Or C, a white light at the front and a red light and a red reflector at the back. Thank you very much, dummies. So, 
please reveal your answers. The correct answer is C. A white light at the front and a red light and red reflector at the back. So John and Michelle and Reese and Sarah, you need to get at least one correct answer from the next two questions to go through to the ultimate driving test. Question number nine. When driving on a dry, clear day, how many seconds gap is the minimum that you should leave between your car and the one in front? Would you like to reveal your answers? I can tell you. The answer is two seconds. Only a fool breaks a two second rule. John and Michelle, you put down nine seconds. That's very safe, but it's the wrong answer. You need to get the next question right to move on. The final question is, which of these signs means cyclists only? Will you please reveal your answers? Jono has to get this right. The correct answer is C. Oh. Well done, guys. You're all through to the next part of the test. You're a step closer to getting your medals. But the pressure is still on. The ultimate driving test is going to be very, very, very tough. Final challenge, so we've made it particularly tough. We're going to chuck everything at them today. Steering, reversing, braking, judging speed, smooth driving and hazards. It's going to be a toughie, so our team's better be on top form. There are ten points up for grabs. One for each of the nine obstacles, plus a bonus point for good behaviour. Our chief examiner will be sat next to them in the car today, so they'll have to convince her that they deserve every single point. The teams need to score 5 out of 10 to graduate from the academy. Pass and their scores will be added to the points that they have already earned in the Highway Quiz Showdown, and that will determine the medal that they will win. A total of 10 to 12 points will win them bronze, 13 to 15 points out of 20 bags them silver, and 16 points and above will see them drive away with the gold pass mark. It's judgement time, and the teams know it. We're only getting one shot at it. Um, I really don't want to go home with nothing. I've got to do it for me. I've got to do it for Reese. It's the final day, and everything we've worked for is, is, is for today. We're going to give every bit of purple power we've got. We're going to get the gold medal. We can't leave here without the gold medal. The Tangerine Dream team are going for the gold today. We're going for going for gold. So it's time for the ultimate driving test. Let's hope the Academy succeeded in making them all safer road users. The first challenge is the penalty boot out. It tests the driver's skill at reversing. So, in your own time, Manisha, let's go. Start the test. A bit towards yourself. Good, good, not too much. Remember, Sandra has a set of dual controls to brake in case of emergency. Good deal, stop. Clutch and brake. Oh, I think he's going wide. Hang on. Hit the post. Oh! oh. It's in. Yeah. In off the post. That looks like a point for the purples. Next in line for a penalty is Jono. Go on! Great goal! But hang on, his celebrations could cost him dearly. Remember, it's Sandra's decision to give him the point or not, and she hates hands off the wheel. Third to go is Reese. Everyone has scored so far. Where's he going? Mind the dummy! Oh no! Well, that ain't a great start, and he knocked down my crash test dummy. He missed the ball, and he's hit a barrier. An utter disaster! Take a breath and drive on when you're ready. Reese is going to have to calm down and concentrate to impress Sandra. Last rookie to kick off is Molly. Last time she attempted a goal, it looked like this. Go on. Oh, hang on. Oh, go on, you're going to have to do it now. Oh, no! I couldn't see what I was doing, Dan. You just put me off. Let's hope things go a little bit better this time. Looks good. Yes. There you go, see? Back in the net! That's got to be a point. She's learned so much about patience and control here at the academy. Well done, Molly. Next up is the narrow alley. 
Sandra will be marking them on steering and control. Manisha had trouble on day one with her steering, weaving all over the place. This is really going to be tough for her. There's a spillage, so you have to be ever so careful. Turning a little bit more. Oh no! Don't worry. Has she lost her chance to win a point in this challenge? Concentrate, Manisha. Jono rarely seems to struggle. And Sandra must give him a point for that. Molly next. A look of concentration. And she's through. Reese could have a few problems though. Back on day five, Reese showed us what happens when he doesn't concentrate. Car control is not always his strong point. What happened there? Oh, I just turned a bit too far. Let's hope he's on better form today. Slowly, slowly, your way a bit, your way a bit, your way a bit. Ooh. No, don't worry. There goes two melons. It's up to Sandra, but he may just have blown his chances of a point. Now they've reached the hazard section of the course. Let's see what Molly and Andy can make of it. If you like to go, then I'll just stop. Here comes a hazard. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, how am I meant to get past now? It's wet, not clear up, I think. This could be a tough one for the blue team. Michelle and Jono failed the hazard super skills on day seven because Michelle didn't recognise many of the hazards. Not a hazard. Right, so, so. We can go round them, they're not running out. That's not a hazard, not too bad. Not a hazard. Will they do better today? There goes the log. Stop nicely. So how do you think he got on with the hazard? Yep, dealt with it, still on the brakes, waiting for the road to be clear before he carries on. Thank you. Do you think Sandra will be impressed with his driving today? Yeah, she will. Looks good for Jono, then. How about the green team? See this. Stop. Oh, oh, we still going. Is that another point missed? Brake lights went on quite a long time after the... Yeah. Manish has always been a cautious driver. Will that help here? He might not throw it, he might throw it, so we don't know. You just be ready to brake if he does. There it goes. Stop. Now what? She's pulled up early. Yeah, she's good at hazard perception. Yeah. She knows her signs. She's good at all of that. She's good at everything apart from steering. <laughs> <laughs> That's three out of nine challenges completed. And now it's swap time. Over to the parents for the speed testing zone, where they must go between 25 and 30 miles an hour. The car speedometer has been covered up, so all they have to go on is their judgment. If they're going too fast or too slow, Sandra won't give them a point. And he's away. Molly seems to have done well for the oranges, but this is a tough end. You see that stop 30? Oh, yeah! Bang on 30 mile an hour. Oh, that's perfect. That good. Over to the blues. Apart from taking his hands off the wheel, Jono seems to have done well, but Michelle has to keep scoring those points for the team. This would be difficult for Michelle because she's she's not good with her speed. She doesn't really understand the speed of the car that yeah. she's driving. Not too fast, not too fast. Not too slow either. Yeah, oh no. 23! Too slow! So, no points for the Blues. I'm not sure Jono was much help there. On to the Purples now. Manisha did well, apart from a tiny hiccup. But Cliff has confided in us more than once that he likes to drive a bit fast. So, has Driving Academy taught him any lessons? 27! That's a point! That's fantastic! That's exactly what he needed. Finally, the Greens. Reese had one or two problems earlier on, but now it's up to his mum, Sarah, to prove to him that she's become a better driver since joining the academy. She looks serious. Mum won't stand first gear, otherwise it won't work. You're over, you're over. Oh, just on 25. 25! Some great advice from Reese. That's just enough to score a point. Well done, Sarah. Thank you very much, Sarah. Drive on when you're ready. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to find out has Sandra's mark in all this. Moving on, Sandra's organised a very sneaky little test. She's asked me to phone her and test the parents' reactions to a distraction in the car. Let's see how Cliff does. There's the phone ringing, but don't answer it. Don't answer it, yeah. We're not allowed to answer that phone. Thank you, Cliff. Should be switched off. Ignore the phone. Very firm. What about Sarah? She's well known for getting distracted in a car. Can we have all phones off in the car, please? That is a lady on a mission. Very good. On to Michelle. Keep driving, Mum. Yeah. Sit through the arch next. Go into the turn in the road section. Oh, yeah. 
So he's ignoring it. I'm not sure that's what Sandra is looking for. Could you please turn your phone off? Nice. Well done, Jono. Sorry, sorry. Finally, Andy. All right. Yeah, when you're ready. Do you want to answer your phone? Do you want to answer my phone? Well, yeah, because it's distracting me. OK. So you'd like me to answer it? Well, yeah. I'll get rid of it. I'll put it in the glove box or something. Should I turn it off? Yeah, turn it off and put it in the glove box. Thank you, Andy. OK, take your time now. Oh, he took his time there, but at least he didn't try to drive away. Will Sandra take that into account? On to the sixth of nine tests, the tight turning area. The parents must turn around without touching the walls. Here they are, all in her colour-coded windows. Cliff is in the purple window. He could be out first. Yep, he's over the line. I think the blues are next. Then the oranges and finally the greens. No one hit a wall, so hopefully they've all bagged the point. Next is car control, and our drivers have to manoeuvre their cars through a very tight arch. Sarah revealed her true colours on this obstacle on day one, when she powered through, knocking the whole thing down. Let's see if her attitude has improved. It's definitely tight. You got enough for it, there we go. Well done, Sarah. She's so careful. Mm. Before, she used to just barge through and hope yeah, for the best. Yeah, hope for the best. That's a fantastic improvement from Sarah. And he's our next to face the arch. Does it fit through the arch? Oh, that's tight. It's touching. Are we good? Your side, Mo? Yeah. Not only did Andy drive that well, Molly was a perfect passenger. Michelle next, lacking confidence. She also knocked down an arch on day one. You can fold in your ring mirror. Can I fold the wing mirrors in? Do what you do in real life that would be sensible. So you see the thing where it's... If you'd like me to do this one, I'll do yes, this one. Yes, please. She's made it look easy! Last parent to face the arch's cliff. Think that's gonna reverse and do it again. Oh, just take your time. I think you can do it. No, reverse and do it again. No, I can do it. I can manage. Oh, no. I've got this wing mirror oh, through now. Oh, it's wobbling. Slowly, 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 slowly. Yes. Yes, sweet. Nice one. Only two obstacles left. First, they have to drive through our high tech adverse weather simulator. Um, that's a hose to me and you. Without touching the barriers. In malt. <laughs> well, they're making that look easy. So, on to the final obstacle. The Ramp of Doom. They first went up against the ramp in Super Skill 6, where they were trying to drive smoothly and not spill the ping pong ball trifle. The trifle did spill, though. Again, and again, and again. This time, passenger comfort is in the balance because the rookies are going to be holding a tray of drinks. They must have at least one drink standing at the end, so smooth driving is essential. First up, it's Michelle. This could be critical. The Blues definitely need the points. More power, more power, more power, more power. Right in her face. Any drinks so far? Oh, it's got Oh, yes, you have. Oh, it's got double trousers. OK, so just drive forward and pass Ooh. Even Sandra's smiling now. Nice one, Michelle. Next is the greens. Watch out. Just like the blues, this team could do with the points. I know you dropped them already, really. Oh, oh, I'm tired. Oh. I hate this. No, we are fine. We've done it before. Oh, dear. What's left? We've got one. One left? Not so bad, Sarah. Let's just see that again. Excellent. Over to Cliff. Go a lot slower on this one. Manisha looks worried. Here we go. Was that good? I can't see yes. the tray. How much have you spilled? One. Yes. Only one spill. Amazing. Even Sandra's got to be pleased with that. Finally, it's Andy. Last time, he smashed the ramp down and nearly wrecked the car. That was typical Andy. Far too fast. Can the new, calm Andy keep his cool when it counts? Oh. Sorry, Mark. oh no, it's going wrong already. Sorry. I can hardly look. Oh. Edging oh. up. Dad, please slow. Please. Wow, yes. amazing! Oh. Still alright? No. How's it done? One fell. 
all over my shoe and I'm like, Only one's so fallen? Easy. Have you got any left? Yeah. Hey, well done. Oh, I thought that was perfect for a second. Just that last bump, only one spill. But have they done enough to pass Driving Academy? It's time to find out. So, teams, this is it. You've been entertaining, but most of all, you've given 100%. As you know, we had to pass both the Highway Quiz Showdown and the Ultimate Driving Test to receive your medal. The better you've done, the better the medal you'll receive. We've added your scores up and given you a mark out of 20. So, without any further ado, let's reveal who's getting what. With a score of 16 out of 20 is... Clifford Manisha. That's a gold medal. Congratulations! Sandra gave them a superb 8 out of 10 for their super skills, added to the 8 out of 10 for the Highway Quiz Showdown. The Purples are the first to pass with a gold medal. With a score of 14 out of 20 is Reese and Sarah. That's a silver medal. Congratulations. Six out of ten on the highway showdown and some great driving from Sarah earned eight points on the super skills, giving the greens a silver medal. Just two scores left and the blues are looking worried as they only got five on the highway quiz showdown. It's now getting serious. With a score of 12 out of 20 is John and Michelle. Five out of ten on the Highway Quiz Showdown and a great seven out of ten from Sandra gives them 12 and a bronze medal. That just leaves Molly and Andy. So, with the highest overall score of 18 out of 20, Molly and Andy with a gold medal. Congratulations, Ricky, Sandra... Eight out of ten in the Highway Challenge and a perfect ten out of ten from Sandra gives them 18 points and a gold medal. Well done, everybody. The Driving Academy has achieved a marvellous thing. Remember, those kids were worried about the driving ability of their parents. That's improved. And not only has it improved, but they're going to be safer on the roads as a result. Right, guys, let's shake you up! Let's I was aware that my driving wasn't particularly good. Um, but over the, with the, all the training, I've realised just how bad it was. So, for me, it's been life-changing. <laughs> My mum's become a better driver. She's a lot better at reversing now. I've been driving for nearly 22 years. I didn't think I could learn anything, and I'm just so, so wrong. It's really nice because I actually want to get in the car and have fun with it now. Well, I feel a lot safer in the car. I came as a nervous wreck, and I'm going away as a confident, safe driver. <laughs> Coming to Driving Academy, I think he's learned not to speed and what to do in the car. For all the parents out there who's, you know, whose kids are telling them they're not very good drivers, get yourself down to the Driving Academy. 